up on Saturday. How excited are you to start the second year? Uh, I mean, it's surreal how fast this came. I'm excited to go out and, you know, continue to get better and continue to compete and, you know, show that, you know, I, my improvement from last season. And so I'm just looking forward to going out and having fun with my brothers. Obviously, it's much more significant, but explain how different your comfort level is right now compared to this time last year. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it, it's day and night. Uh, obviously, once you do something for a year and then you have the opportunity to do it again, you'll you'll be more confident and, and comfortable in what you are doing. And so uh, just coming out this year, understanding what's required of me, what I need to do, where I need to be at, uh, understanding, you know, the chemistry that I that I need with Dak and the offense, uh, you know, being in the spot that they, I'm expected to be in and making the play that I'm expected to make is, uh, you know, is what we worked on this, this offseason all together and obviously with the help of the other guys in the room, you know, building that, building the relationships and, you know, adding to my my fuel of wide receiver aspects and skills. So, you know, just going out and just continuing to improve upon that. Jalen, if you were to put, let's say, one to ten, ten being all pro, one being I don't know what, where were you last year and, and where do you think you are this year? I mean, in terms of camp. Uh, last year probably was at like a two. Uh, and this year, uh, Say like a six, six. You know, obviously you, you always have room to grow and room to improve as a wide receiver. But uh, I feel like I've taken a, a big leap as far as confidence and route running, being able to go to multiple spots and just play comfortable there, being able to understand the bigger picture with defenses and coverages, uh, a lot of, you know, everything. So just being able to grow upon that this offseason was big. Does it help when, you know, someone like Brandon comes in and, and you know, secures another spot and you're able to go in and find your own place and, and kind of make your own role, create your own, uh, I, I guess, role in the offense and things like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, to a certain to a certain extent, uh, you know, not, not necessarily him coming in and, and, you know, having a spot and I create my own spot, but more so just having a veteran leadership mm -hmm. in the room and having a guy, you know, I've never really had somebody other than CD and MG last year that kind of took me under their wing and teach me the ropes and, you know, why they're so successful at this league. So Brandon coming in, you know, played a big part of that this offseason. I actually trained with him for a week in Oregon where he lives at and, you know, just understand why he's so successful and how he's been so successful successful for so long and so having a guy like that to teach you and you know mentor you on you know growing through the NFL growing through this league and growing as a receiver is special so you know having him in his room is, is awesome. Stuff that he kind of uh, taught you was it a lot of fundamental stuff and things like that or was it more I guess advanced and thing completely new for you and, and things of that sort? Uh, I mean a little bit of everything you know route running how to take care of your body you know to a, a different level, you know, how to be confident in certain things when you know it's your first couple times doing it, you know, how to read coverages, what, how certain DBs play you, how to pick a part of DB. You know, he's been doing it for a long time, so he's seen a lot, you know, been with a lot of great players throughout the time. And so just being able to talk with him and pick his brain on those things is, is special. I've heard so much from Mike and, and others about your notebook. Is that something that you, you have always kind of, you know, prepared that way off the field and things like that, or was that something that after last year uh, you took it to a different level? Uh, I've always kind of been that way. I'm, I'm, I, I love art. I like to draw. And so uh, even in college, I would go up to our field house and just draw on the dry erase board, draw up the plays, and me being able to draw it up and just see every spot and, you know, picture it, it is a way that I learned. And so this past offseason, uh, in my game room at, at my house, I got a dry erase board installed in there. And so I was just drawing plays. And when Shadi had asked, you know, hey, did you figure out a new setup for, you know, your your game room, like the dry erase board? I was like, nah, I just showed him my notebook. And so I kind of just made, obviously the notebook is smaller, but I made it kind of like it would be a dry erase board. So I drew up everything and highlighted and took, you know, took pictures and notes, side notes on stuff that I can learn or how I think about certain stuff and just have it all in my notebook so I can just open it and look at it when I need to. How long have you been drawing? Uh, since I can remember, since I mean elementary school, I always used to draw and do stuff. So I love, you know, drawing and painting pictures and stuff. What's your specialty? <sighs> what do you like? What do you like? Uh, I used to be, be big into drawing like people, you know, football players and stuff, or, you know, obviously you start off tracing, but uh, to, after that, you know, just started sketching and just trying to do, you know, what I can, just see something and draw it, so.
That's something that I like to do. Any of your brothers on the team want you to do any sketches for them? Nah, no, no, you know, I don't do it like to that to that extent. But I mean, as far as me learning and you know, just bored or whatever, I'll just draw something. So you found an application that you could take that and use it on the football field? Yes, sir. Definitely, definitely. Uh, being able to just draw up the bigger picture of the play or the you know splits and whatever the routes may be is, is you know how I can learn and pick it up to a, a new level. Was your uh, college playbook, or when you did all the notebook, was your in college was it the same level, or have you taken it to a new level with what you've done? Uh, in college, I didn't really even have a notebook. Uh, I just drew it up at uh, at the facility, and obviously I was there all the time and uh, was a focal point of the offense, so it kind of revolved around me. And so uh, I didn't really have a notebook. I just helped other guys. You know, I would tell them to come up to the field house, and I would draw like draw up the plays, and so they could see them. And me teaching them the plays and drawing it up would also teach me. So uh, that's the way that I learned in college. But I obviously had to, you know, find new ways to do anything when you get into new new systems, new opportunities. And so you know, that's what I did. Have you always been kind of a visual learner, and is that kind of something that, you know, whenever you come to a new place, new coaches, they have to learn that about you, about how you, you know, take in information and, and how that can help you ex excel in your position? Uh, not, not necessarily, not really. Uh, I mean, I can learn by listening very well, uh, but as far as for me, obviously I'll listen and learn, and when, I, when I'm on my own time, I'll draw it up and reteach myself or relearn it to my the way that I would learn so I mean it's not something that they really you know have to know like oh we got to draw this for Jalen like I, I can listen and pick up the play. <laughs>